So I actually got these two from Nordstrom. They have a pop-up shop that's going on right now with a bunch of cool electronics. Go check it out, really cool. Uh, here's the cinema light box, letter box, and here is the Neon Ghost. This is made by a company called Amped & Co. Go check their website out. They have a bunch of these, all different kinds. Uh, some of them, I will say, are perhaps slightly inappropriate for the workplace, but that's okay. Go check them out anyway. I really like their product, so yeah, go check those out. Oh, looks like my Uber Eats order is here. I'll be right back. Acai bowl. There's only one place I found here that has these and they're really really good and every time I get it, it reminds me of getting them in Hawaii Because that's what I got every day for breakfast And they have these really good rolls too with the Brazilian uh, Caramel filling mm, so good I'm going to go eat this first. So uh, we'll do this later All right, so everyone's favorite shopping day of the year just got finished. No, not Black Friday. It's the middle of the summer. Amazon Prime Day, of course. And I thought it would be fun to go over the kinds of deals that we got. Now, I wasn't looking for anything specifically. wasn't really looking for camera gear, except for that Ronin SC that just came out. I did pre-order that. That was actually after Prime Day. And then that Sony A7R Mark IV just came out. That was actually after Prime Day 2. I'm not getting that. I just got the A7 III, as you all know. And I'm very happy with it. Mark IV, though, awesome camera. Now, I just got a bunch of random stuff. It's all stuff that I'll use, of course, but it is quite random. Okay, so where to start? So, accessory maker Anker had a pretty good deal going on. Got a couple things from them. Uh, one of these is a USB-C to HDMI cable. I already have one of these, but it keeps flickering and going in and out of me, so I'm gonna try another one, see if that works any better. Then I got another lightning to USB 
charger for my iPhone because I'm always losing these. I can never actually find one of these when I need it in my backpack, so this one's going in my backpack. It's not leaving. Now my girlfriend wanted some new headphones. She didn't want AirPods because she doesn't like the way they fit. Um, I saw these. Anker makes the sound quarter, which look like AirPods, and they had a pretty good price on them, so decided to try them out. She said they're pretty awesome so far, so we'll see if that remains the case. I've been wanting one of these for a while, and I'm telling you this is all random stuff. <laughs> uh, this is RAV Power. They make one of these vehicle jumper batteries for your car. I have a pretty new car, don't uh, really have any problems with it. However, I do go to some pretty remote places sometimes where don't have cell service, uh, help's not really available, so this gives just a little bit of peace of mind. A little set of uh, cables, and here's the battery. So I've got to charge this up, and this just stays in the car, and uh, something happened to your battery, or couldn't start your car, uh, you could try starting it with one of these. Yeah, you should always have some kind of jumper cables in your car, especially if you're going out to the woods, you're going hiking. Okay. So that's that. Uh, <laughs> Tom's toothpaste, because you never have enough toothpaste. I told you this was random. Oh yeah, there was a good deal going on on Spindrift Sparkling Water. Picked up a whole case of these. I love these. They're not too sweet. Uh, back to open this up right now. So good. I also got a case of Tazo iced tea bottles, uh, but they haven't arrived yet. They're still on the way. I don't know where they're coming from. Oh yeah, so I got one of these uh, little exercise balls. Figured this will be fun to do a little bit of exercise on while I'm waiting for Premiere Pro to render, or actually just to use as a chair. Might be fun sometimes. I guess I have to take this out and then blow this thing up somehow. Oh, the rubber smells horrible. And these are all the different exercises you can do with it. I'm afraid to even open this up because it might like be one of those mattresses that as soon as you open it up it just like goes. says this should only take a few minutes. This is taking longer than a few minutes. We're maybe a third of the way there. <laughs> is that as big as it gets? I think that's as big as it gets. Look at that. Yeah, this is just a uh, sunshade basically. You unwrap this and then hang it between trees and give you some nice sun protection. I'm going to be doing some camping here pretty soon out in the desert. So this will come in handy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is the fun item. <laughs> so this is the Intex uh, Explorer 100, they call it a boat. I'm going to call it a raft, because that sounds cooler. Um, <laughs> basically I got this for taking hiking with me. When I go to Alpine Lakes, I'd like to be able to go out there and just chill in the lake. So you know those pack rafts that you typically see, they're about, I don't know, eight, nine, ten pounds? Yeah, this costs like eight or nine hundred dollars. This, I found, costs uh, twelve dollars, only weighs about three pounds. So I'm sure it's not very durable. I mean, if this thing lasts like, you know, one, two, three times, I'll be happy with it. Um, oh, it smells like horrible rubber. I'm not going to take that out right now. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Probably qualifies more as a pool toy than anything, but we'll see how it works out. Ultralight backpacking, sometimes you have to make some sacrifices. 
And uh, yeah, this is just the uh, electric pump for it. Uh, this plugs into your vehicle power outlet, and uh, instead of having to use a pump to blow that up like I had to with the exercise ball, I'd rather not do that. You know, if I'm going to a lake that's uh, right near the parking lot, uh, like Mowich Lake, for example, a uh, nice campground there that I went to last year, I can just uh, plug this in, fill it up, and go out on the water without uh, struggling too much. Yeah, so that'll be handy. Ah, yes, I knew there was something missing. Okay, so the little raft that I showed you, that's a one-person raft. And they said it's uh, suitable for up to like 120 pounds on the uh, specs. Some guy commented on Amazon that he had it uh, double the weight and it seemed to work out fine. So I'm sure it'll work out. Uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see when I actually get into the water if it actually works. Um, but I, I did order from the same uh, company, Intex, a uh, two-person raft that's a little bit more durable. It actually comes with oars even. <laughs> um, that one was only 40 bucks. Um, says it's arriving today by 8 p.m. So unfortunately I can't show that to you right now, uh, but I will show it to you when I get it out on the water, if it actually makes its way out onto the water without uh, losing air. So uh, yeah, I think that's it from my list. Yeah, that's everything. Like I say, a bunch of random stuff, just thought it'd be fun to make this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this at all, if you thought it was entertaining. Give it a like, it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let me know, did you guys order anything yourselves for Prime Day? And uh, are you enjoying it so far? Uh, let me know, I think that would be fun to go over. So until next time, remember to make more videos. See ya.